Okay. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. I hope you can hear me. Just trying to get situated. Um, it is late, late at night, so I'm going to try to kind of keep it down. But here is the new journal that I just finished. I used a kit from Seneca Ponds. It, ha it is covered in fabric, and the fabric has been painted, and then it has this really pretty lace from Joann's on it. Um, and then here is the cover page. I don't know if you can see, but parts have been glossy accented, and there's stickles on the flower. And then over here you have the spine, and then here's the back. Um, it has a tassel and dangling from the tassel is this really pretty seahorse I got from Elizabeth. And this really pretty hook here. We did a trade and I got these really pretty charms. And then the tassel has lace and seam binding and sari silks and eyelash trims and just all kinds of pretty stuff and for the closure I used this really pretty ivory colored um, satin ribbon and then I've also got a turtle charm and a little crab charm and this really pretty um, seashell which I also got from Elizabeth and let's go ahead and open it up. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, I um, constructed this cutter myself um, from scratch using two different pieces of chipboard. So it's got the chipboard and then it's got the fabric. And then for the first time I did a hidden pin spine on this one because I really wanted that lace to show. And if you look at it, it almost kind of looks like waves. Okay, when you open it up, it's just got, um, this is the little piece of chipboard that I um, sewed the signatures into. And it's got this printed coffee dyed paper. And then underneath it, it's got some cheesecloth. And then this trim right here, I got from Malia. So thank you, Elizabeth Malia. And then this is the first page of the signature. There are two signatures in this this journal, which is what definitely the chunkiest one I've done with only two signatures. They're very chunky signatures. Okay, and let's get right on into it. Um, some of the images are from the kit, and some of them um, are from old books and this image right here is from an old book and I actually found this pad of paper at an antique store um, it, it was just like writing paper but it had aged and turned this really pretty like bluish green and so I thought it'd be perfect for this journal so some have been backed with it I don't know if you can pick that up but it's got like a blue, bluish tint to it it's really neat how it aged. And then here is one of the little mason jars from the kit with just a little piece of sari on it. And then this is also from the kit, a little stenciling. Um, and this paper right here is some, some vintage, from a vintage shorthand book. And I thought the blue was perfect for the beach journal. Another page from the kit. Um, Elizabeth had sent me um, part of a napkin that had fish on it, so I decoupaged it onto a time card. And I also printed out this um, journaling card kit. I can't remember who I, who I purchased it from, uh, but um, it had beach images with scriptures on them. As I'm sure you've picked up, this journal is beach themed. And then here is a vintage playing card. With some lined paper on the back to write on. And then over here, um, this is from a really old book I got at an antique store. And it has swimming trunks on it. And then this lady swimming. And then the hammock. So I thought that was perfect for this journal. And it flips out. 
And these um, I got from a geese stash from Elizabeth. Sorry, let me see if I can get this better. The Sea Holds Fantasy and Mysteries. Some washi, Tim Holtz word. Um, I actually stamped on some fabric that I had and then kind of frayed the edges and then a button. And then this really pretty um, blue lace. And then again, there's the turtle. And then on this side is a tag that I made. Um, an altered, altered tag. It's got music paper and doilies and trims and washi paper doilies and these images um, I actually bought from Lindsay Zanor. Um, it's her wash dishware kit and they were printed on some really pretty um, ivory colored paper and then here's another one of those scriptures and all of them have been backed um, with coffee dyed paper or have been coffee dyed themselves and then this image right here was from a really old book, um, but it was super, super old. It was too brittle to fold it in half and add the whole page, but I loved this image with these two little kids, so I just tore it out and added it to this food coloring dyed paper. And then here's a bag from... Um, Oh my gosh, I cannot think of her shop's name right now. Let, let me think about that. Um, I'm having a, <laughs> I'm having a moment. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, so my brain doesn't want to work. Here's another image from, a little mason jar image from the kit. It's from Laura's shop. I just can't think of the name for some reason. Um, and then here is a vintage dictionary page with a ship. And then here's another image from an old book. And this one has that old paper I was talking about. And this has some paper I got um, in a de-stash from Elizabeth. A little decoupaging, some fish. And then here is a bag. And inside another, another old image. This one's on a large index card. And then this paper right here, this inner office memo, I actually got from Aaliyah. And then a little Rolodex with another decoupaged fish. And then this is from the kit as well, a little tag. And this right here, I actually hand marbled myself. Um, I had ordered Nick the Booksmith's hand marbled paper and I liked it and I wanted to try it. And so I just used some spray paints that we <laughs> that we had in the basement. Um, so I didn't have very many colors to play with, but I thought the blue and cream went well with this, so I thought I'd use a piece. And then here is, um, this is from an old book, and this is from Lindsay Sonora's kit. And this is a pocket from the kit with these little inserts. Sorry. You both come out and you can turn on the back and then another piece of fabric that I stamped on. Hold on, I don't there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it straight for you. And then here is a little postcard of tech. And then it's got a vintage playing card. I got an estate sale. And then just a lined tag that you can pull out and write on. And then here's an old dictionary page with the seahorse. I thought that was super cute. Um, this is also from Lizzie's kit. And then an embossed tag with some pretty eyelash trim. And a large file folder tag with a seahorse that I fussy cut. And then this really, really soft trim from Danny's shop at Junk Journals and More. Let's just that back in there. And then over here, this right here, I also got from Aaliyah in a Happy Mail. It's super pretty. And I just turned it into a pocket. And this is an old dictionary page backed onto a coffee dyed index card. Again, everything's been coffee dyed. And then this is from the kit, and I just added a little Tim Holtz word wishing. 
And then this is an old book page that's backed onto that really, really pretty aged paper. Another page from the kit. And this is one of the pockets that comes with the kit. And then this large journaling card. And I just added a little um, bow on the top of it. Joily from Denise's shop. Their image from the kit. And then behind here is a pocket with two postcards. And then up here is a little pocket that you can write on. Well, you can't write on the pocket, but it's got this in it that you can write on. A little Tim Holtz paper clip comes off, and then you have a whole page for journaling. So you can journal on the two cards, you can journal on the page, and then you can journal on that. So lots of writing space. And then here is some vintage um, music paper, some lined paper with some washi, Tim Holtz sprays. And then over here, I made a pocket out of a doily. And it's got this really pretty image, which is also from Lindsay's kit. Um, and it just says vacation. And these right here, these two little file folders, they actually um, come unvelcroed. So you can take them off. And then you unpaper clip it. And you've got a little. Music paper, lined paper, coffee dyed paper, food coloring dyed paper. It was so dense. It's just a little booklet. And then again, you just paper clip it back up and then line up the little Velcros. And you got two little file folder um, little books. And I added some numbers on the corner. So you can just take those off too and throw it in your purse if you wanted. And here is some really old ledger paper I got off a shop on Etsy. If you're interested, I can try to find the card. I can't remember right now. And it's super old, um, 1947, so I reinforced it with some washi. And then here's one of the tabs from the kit. It's really pretty with the blue and pink. And then these come in the kit, and I just put them on a brad. So you can take them off and decorate the journal with them or, you know, just write on the backs or whatever. And this little fabric ruffle right here, um, April at Pink Oddbird actually made. Um, I purchased some of her fabric envelopes and she had sent me a ruffle to match the envelope. And then this really pretty blue button. Another doily from Denise's shop. Another page from the kit. And here is the center of the first signature, and I've got two vintage playing cards that I believe I got from Danny. And in them, they each have, just to get up, well they have the little eyelets and then they have the really pretty eyelash trim. And then they each have one of the old book, um, book pages backed on that really pretty aged paper, a little shell stamp. And then a little journaling card that I made. And then same with this one. And there's the same stamp. And that just tucks back in there. So it's beach themed, but it's also got a lot of uh, nautical. It's got like a nautical feel to it. Another page from the kit, doily, and then I just used a little scrap up here to make a pocket. And this came in the kit, and I just ran some trim, and then you could journal on the back and journal on the page. And I get this really, really pretty fabric right here at an antique store. I only have one little piece of it left that's about this size. That's all I got. It was in this little bag at an antique store and I, I really love it so I wanted to add it and this is actually my favorite image from the kit so I put it with this really pretty fabric and then this little heart button I got from Aaliyah I love using these I'm gonna be sad when I'm out and then here's that really pretty um, shell 
charm and a rose gold this rose gold one I um gold pin I actually got from Laura's shop as well. I love the rose gold. She offers a lot of um rose gold options. Baker's twine, gold pins, you name it. Here's some more of that ledger. Again reinforced. And then um just put one of these little brown bags with one of Lindsay's images. And then inside just has a little decoupage and stamped piece of coffee dyed paper. And then behind it, this index card was actually in a really old book. So it aged itself. So I did not um, use distress ink and ink it. Because normally I ink everything, but I really liked how this was aged on its own. So I left it as is. And then this little piece right here, I either got from Danny or I got from a little Mimi shop maybe. Gosh, I'm telling you what, it's like past 1 o'clock in the morning and I have been working all night so I am just, my brain's not wanting to work. Uh, my mom is actually picking this book up tomorrow morning for her friends so it has to be done tonight or I would wait. Here's some Glimmer Misted Avocado Paper, part of a doily, another ribbon bow that I made, this really pretty iridescent ribbon and a Tim Holtz phrase. Don't know if you can pick up the iridescent ribbon or the Glimmer Mist, but it's really pretty. A little piece of burlap, another piece of fabric that I stamped, washi, and this vintage music paper. Um, the song is Memories Are Made Of This, and that's what the beach is about, making memories. And it flips out. And then on a brad over here, I have some little travel tickets, because unless you are lucky enough to live on the beach, most people go there traveling. Another tab from the kit, another image from the kit. Here's that doily. And then I've just got a little side tuck over here and got one of these index dividers with a B for beach and then just one of the little Tim Holtz clips. A mini glassine bag with um, one of these definition cards and it means, sorry, it means pleasure and when you're on the beach I would say you are, it is pleasurable. <laughs> so I thought that one went well. And then over here, I've got this really pretty blue lace and another one of Lindsay's images. And then I stamped a B for beach with a blue button. Um, another dictionary page. And then over here, I have one of these um, time cards. And you just untie the twine and open it up. And inside, it's got pockets and tags. And I actually had this twine right here on the tops of these tags, and it was too thick, it wasn't closing right. So then I tried eyelash trim, and it was still thicker than I liked. So I actually took a piece and peeled it apart. But you got the tags, and you got the little pockets, and then you can also journal on the line spots, and then you just tie it right back up and then over here I got this big image and a de-stash I did with Elizabeth and I just added these flat back pearls and a corrugated cardboard butterfly I punched out and then I just had a little piece of this trim left over that was laying there that I added in the middle and then inside is just a tag you can journal on with some eyelash trim which looks like it's wanting to slide off that. here's the other side of that paper from Aaliyah and on the two from subject I added some little Tim Holtz stickers to travelers and traveling from my grateful heart subject play on the beach I try to find some that went and then on this bag over here I've got some pretty blue washi and inside of it, another one of those scripture cards, which I really like these. Very pretty. 
unfortunately most of them were too big to actually use on the pages so most of them are in the pockets but they are very pretty and then over here is a little book page pocket and I've got a little fabric stamp here a little piece of Tim Holtz ephemera a little camera ephemera and then in the top pocket here's the little things to do you could write maybe things you do on the beach and then on this little tag right here, when you flip it over, there's a secret little hiding spot with a tag that you could put a little special note in. More pretty eyelash trim. This trim right here is actually from Danny Shop, and it's got this, it's like normal eyelash trim, but then it's also got this stuff in it. This stuff, very technical tonight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Another tab from the kit. And then here is one of those scriptures in a pocket. And then these are both out of old books. And then there's that old paper. And it just coffee died. This is some kind of, oh my gosh, this says horny sponge or an elephant ear. I don't know, maybe I should cross that out. Sorry, that just kind of cut my eye. Um, over here, another one of Lindsay's images, some blue lace, and a little postcard you can take out right on front and back of. And then with this little Tim Holtz clip over here, I have this old um, time card that I got from Malia, and then a little piece of um, ephemera. And then here is an old um, postcard, really large postcard. Um, it has the beach on it, so I thought it went well. And then over here you've got another piece of ephemera with some eyelash trim, some cheesecloth, and a little clock. Um, I kind of put that in there because when you're on the beach, you know, you, you don't really worry about the time. You just have fun. And here's the other side of that really old uh, catalog paper. And then here's a little punched pocket with a little label. And then you got another one of these cards that come in the kit. And I left that one blank in case you wanted to label it. And then a mason jar with some sorry and it's been glossy accented. I don't know if you can see that, but the compass is all glossy accented. And then a um, old book page. And then it's got burlap tabs, as I'm sure you've seen. And then on this side of that shorthand, I actually put a piece of um, the food coloring dyed paper there so you could write on it. And then another one of these from the kit. And then over here is another little book page pocket. And this I also got from that D stash with Elizabeth, it's really pretty, and I love the paper it's printed on. It's like marbled and yellowy, it's really pretty. Again, very technical terms tonight. <laughs> and then here's another one of those old um, images, and then it's got this, um, this like netting looking stuff with an image, and then some roof crack. And again, there's stenciling on it. And that is the end of the first signature. Let me check the time. Okay. And in the middle of it, I realized there was this big gap. So I ran some some lace down it and then added one of these little flower appliques um, that Elias sent me. Well, actually, I ran the lace and then after I put this little knob knocker looking thing in there, um, it had the prongs sticking out, so I put the flowers there to cover that. Not that a flower really goes with the beach, but I thought it was prettier than looking at the metal pieces. And it helps it stay there better. And then over here, again, we got another pocket with a postcard. Another one of those little Tim Holtz paper clips. And then it flips out, so you can have a whole page. Um, this one did not get coffee dyed, so I just tried to ink it up. Most of them are coffee dyed, though. I think that's the first one I've seen that wasn't. And then over here, we have some um, ledger from Denise's shop, some eyelash trim, 
And then over here, a little book page pocket with this compass I fussy cut out, and another one of those book page images on that really old lined paper. And it just tucks in there, relax, because that's what you do on the beach and on the hammock. And then I turned this one into a pocket with some eyelash trim, and this, my next card right here, was also in that really old book. So it aged naturally all by itself, so I did not stress ink it, because I really thought that that was neat that I got that coloring. Over here is another one of those scripture images, and it's a pocket with a tag behind it. This really cool eyelash trim that has these little pieces in it. And then over here, here's another one of those bags from Laura's shop. Behind it, it's just got some blue paper you can take out and write on it. And then favorite part of the trip, because again, usually when you're on the beach on a trip, so you can write that there, or just write whatever, right on the back. And then here's another cute image from Lindsay's kit with the turtles on it. And then this little doily right here, I actually got at an antique store. It is super cute. I wish I would have got more of them. Um, I actually, there was two in a pack, and they had two packs, but it was when I first started junk journaling. So I didn't know what I would use them for. And ever since then, I wished that I would have gotten both packs because they're super cute. <laughs> another, sorry. Another page from the kit, and then over here is another one of those tags that I made, and it's got the like crocheted netting, and it's some regular trim, doily, Tim Holtz phrase, little washi, another image from Lindsay's kit, this is also an image from Lindsay's kit, and then in the bag here, sorry, um, here's another image from an old book backed onto an index card and I thought that was really cool how it coffee dyed. I don't know why it got the, those lines but I like it. I'm not used to watching myself in the phone. This is only my second time and so it's really weird. And then again another uptuck with another one of these and I added the trim on the bottom. You can journal on the back and on the page underneath it. And then this trim right here, I also got an, at an antique store. And it's, I love the color blue that it is. It's a very pretty blue. But then it's also got some ribbon running through it and some sequins. Really pretty. And then on this bag over here, I put a piece of paper doily. And then this image right here, I also got from that distache from Elizabeth. And I just coffee dyed it and inked around the edges. But I thought that was really pretty. And then on the back, another image from Lindsay's kit. Um, another piece of fabric that I stamped. And then added the little Tim Holtz. And I didn't want to cover much of this page because it's been glimmer misted. It's really pretty. And then over here, behind this envelope, there is a little, little tuck. Um, this is really old. It actually had some lace pinned onto it from an antique store. I think it was wrapped around and pinned, but I liked the star and the blues. So it just tucks right back here. And then in this little burlap belly band, there's another vintage playing card with the beach. Again, it's got lines so you can write on it. And then it flips out, and inside of it, just a little piece of scrap paper there. And then it opens up so you can have plenty of space to journal on. And then just tucks right back in there. And then I covered up the top of the envelope with this green page so you could write on it. And then behind it is just an index card that's been all coffee dyed and inked and punched. And I think it tore a little bit, so that's why I added that blue washi. But I think it's pretty. So you've got a pocket here, pocket inside the envelope, 
in the back of the card, and then you also got that. I don't know which way I had that in now. Maybe it was this way. I don't know. Sorry. And then here's some tile paper with some washi, and I used the tickets because, again, I'm normally traveling to the beach. This is also um, from that de stash with Elizabeth. I think it was actually came in like a mermaid kit, um, but it had some good like sea phrases. And then here is a library pocket and card that I got from Danny, and I just coffee dyed it, inked it, and added one of Lindsay's images. This one's super cute. And then on the card, I put this little piece of ephemera that says "Remember." So you can write what you remember about your trip. And then that's on graph paper. And then over here I have this little um, flip. And it's got a piece of burlap and this pretty flower applique. And then it flips down and you can write in there. And then you've also got this old dictionary page with the ship. And then the lined paper. And then the postcard. So you can write on... You can write on the page, you can write behind the tuck, and you can write on the backs of these. So in some cases, you actually end up with more writing space when you decorate it because you've got the page and then all the extra, extra spots. Is this under it maybe? I can't remember how it was in now, sorry. With that. And then over here, um, another piece of that fabric that I got from Aaliyah another one of those butterflies I punched and I actually only glued the top of it because I thought it would be neat to flip up and have like a secret little note there. You know because you can't even tell so you just secret. <laughs> another pretty image from the kit and the burlap. Another one of those pockets with the little tickets in it. You just tuck in. The doily, another pretty image from the kit, and then here is another one of those altered tags that I made, and it, this one's lined paper with doily, crochet, trim, um, eyelash trim, Tim Holtz word, lace, another pretty seahorse from Lindsay's kit, and then over here, this ruffle um, is also from April, a pink odd bird, and it is super, super soft. Like, I wish you could feel it. It is, like, squishy soft, and so I really liked the texture. And then I added a bold pin with one of these little, like, ribbon clips and made, like, a little tiny tassel to dangle. And it's got sari and lace and that fluffy eyelash trim and some sparkly eyelash trim. Just like a little mini tassel I thought would be fun. And then here's an old book page that had the ships and the water and the maps, so I thought it was pretty. And 